everyone welcome to horrible gaming my name is Nora and on today's video we are working more on my modern Japanese city so I have actually been documenting the whole entire build process of this island on my channel so if you're new here feel free to check out those other videos and live streams this is gonna be I think now my 32nd Animal Crossing island I am actually hoping to keep this island forever like reflatten it and redo it you know in the future but of course, if there's enough feedback, I'll just preserve the dream address like usual, like we do on my theme builds and just do a completely fresh new island um, if we do come back to this theme in the future. So I think my plan for today is to work over here from our last live stream. So we did all of this terraforming and mapping out on my previous live stream, but we didn't actually get to finish the decorating process. So I would really like to get this location completely done. That way, when we stream tomorrow, we can just focus on a completely new location. Now, I actually have several islands that I'm working on currently, but I've been really like in the zone with this island, just like inspired. And I feel like that's really hard to get in Animal Crossing now days being that I've made so many different islands so I'm really excited that I've been enjoying just the build process of this whole entire new cherry blossom city but I am looking forward to starting something new in the coming weeks I think we're gonna start working on my beach city next so I did do like a beachy town entry it was kind of more natural I think anyways that's gonna be my next island when we finish this one up so I'll have it linked in the video's description in case y'all want to go check it out maybe you don't know which island I'm talking about um, that will kind of give you an idea on what the vibe is going to be. So over here by Plaza, I'm going to be doing just a really nice little um, house filler build. It's not going to be anything too crazy just because we don't really have that much space to work with. When I say that this location was the hardest build I've done in a really long time, I truly mean it. Just this angled roadway was really difficult to work with because it was so close to Plaza. So if you're new here, the long story short to this angled road is I actually wanted it near my 7-Eleven, but I didn't have space for it over there so during our live stream when we were working on this island we kind of brainstormed a new location for it and then I was like oh my gosh how cool would it be to do this angled roadway in front of plaza and I felt like this was a different approach than a lot of people do in front of the plaza because many of us are tempted to do something really structured I felt like doing something angled in front of plaza would be a little bit of a different approach than what we normally see on my channel and just on city core in general now I knew going into this build the location that we're working on today was going to be really difficult like as you can see it's not a very spacious spot to work with but I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out in this location my biggest wish though was that we could finally like customize plaza I still don't understand till this day why we can't customize our NPC buildings I feel like if I could have edited plaza to be more Japanese looking it really would have just impacted this whole entire location but of course we're just gonna work around it and make it work. So after we finish this location in front of the plaza, we're going to start decorating right next to the villager home. We actually placed this villager on my last live stream. So my plan over here is probably going to be doing a small little sitting spot behind it. And originally I was really wanting to do some sort of a market build, but I just don't have space for it. We're really close to the edge of the map. So I'm probably just going to do a really small sitting area over here, kind of overlooking the beach area. And then we're going to do maybe a park parking lot right next to it. I actually got that parking lot done today, but I didn't record it because it was such a small build and there was honestly really no point on recording that location. And I honestly think I'm gonna change it up. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, but I just didn't really like how that parking lot turned out. So like I said, on my previous videos and live streams, I'm planning to decorate the beaches and all the villager homes. So if y'all have a really fun idea for this villager, let me know in the comments section. I'm not sure what to do on the beach over here either. I was thinking maybe something boat related but I'm not quite sure honestly what would be a good um, themed villager home for this spot. Obviously not every villager home has to be themed in its location but I am trying to do really fun interiors to kind of make this whole entire island a little bit more immersive. I'm gonna be doing something fish market related below this villager home. So that's why I was thinking maybe doing something dock related on the beach and maybe we can do something fish related inside the villager home. But of course, if y'all have a better idea, let me know in the comments section. That feedback always helps me out. Anyways, I'm gonna add a few more details over here by this villager home and then we'll start mapping out this little sitting area right by the edge of the map. I'm gonna keep this location really simple. We're probably just gonna do a couple evergreen ashes and some benches, being that there's a lot of 
added detail on my island as is. If I can reduce lag in other locations, I absolutely will. Plus the location is really awkward just to begin with. There's really not that much space to work with. So we're just gonna do a little sitting spot and maybe I can have it overlook like some boats or something on the beach. So if you missed my live streams, you probably don't know where we're at on my map. And this is actually right in front of my previous video that we did on the island. So this is like right in front of that marketplace with that angled crosswalk. And that is why I was really hoping to continue some sort of a market build over here, but there's just not enough space for it. I still think that the transition over here turned out really cute though. I thought it was a really nice location also just by the plaza as well. This is how that parking lot ended up looking in front of this market way. As you can see, it's really simple. I'm just not too happy with it, but it could be me overthinking it. Let me know what y'all think about that spot in the comment section below. If y'all agree we should change it up, leave me some ideas and maybe we can focus on that first thing tomorrow on my live stream. Anyways, before today's video ends, I just want to give a huge thank you to all of my channel members. Thank you for supporting me as a creator and just being a part of the channel in general. So a huge thank you to all of our channel members. Thank you to Monica B, Catherine Funk, Sherry Blossom, Cobb. Z Toxic, Wisteria Crossing, Connor Adventure, The Bella Rific, It's Your Girl Crystal, Mickey Koo, Cherry Dot Crossing, Baby Blue X016, Irish Lady 51, Opal of Wisteria, The Artsy Gamer, Dami, Cosmon, Madison Rachel, and Adriana Dawson. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a horrible day.